This video covers what I believe are the two best value tube amps from Marshall that get you the iconic tone without a crazy high price tag. You can check them out via the Sweetwater links below. These help support our channel, yet at no extra cost to you. Thanks to everyone for trusting our content. For those of you who don't have or don't want to buy an external speaker cap, the 40C is one of the single most popular Marshall combo amps available, catering to beginners and intermediate players alike. In regards to specs and functionality, it's fairly similar to the DSL-20H, which we'll cover next. The main difference is that this version is 40 watts instead of 20, and of course has a built-in speaker cap. Note that the combo does come in a wide range of wattage variations. 1 watt, 5 watts, 20 watts, and 40 watts. Pricing varies for each one where predictably the lower wattage versions are cheaper. The cab contains a single 12-inch Celestian V-type speaker with 16 or 8 ohms of impedance. On its own, the speaker retails for about $120. Your other option is the Marshall DSL 20H and HR regarding volume. While it might seem like 20 watts isn't much, it's still really loud. A 20 watt Marshall tube amp is still going to rumble in most environments, especially small to mid-sized venues and indoors. So don't let the wattage number turn you off. Also note that an amp head requires a speaker cap, and you should not run an amp head without it being connected to the proper speaker load. The 20H isn't much good without one. If you don't have and don't want to buy a speaker cap, refer back to the Marshall DSL 40C. Another option to consider is an amp head that comes with a built-in attenuator. These let you run them without a speaker connected. One of my favorites is the Mesa Badlander. I'll link to a roundup of these amps in the description. What about a Marshall Solid State amp? We're big fans of the Code 50 with digital tones developed by engineers at Softube. The Code employs a wider range of amp models and sounds better than past Marshall modeling attempts. Overall, the tone quality is really solid, despite some style limitations. Do you have thoughts about the amps listed here? Perhaps you know of one that should have been included? Let me know. I do my best to keep up with answering comments and making sure these resources are up to date. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out at guitarchalk.com.